You're listening to Bodhi Light Tales, the podcast for mindful people on the go. My name is Miao Guang, and today's story is about the four wives. Once upon a time, there was a rich old man who knew he would soon pass away. He thought, since I cannot take my wealth with me. Why don't I find someone to go with me to the next life? This rich old man had four wives. He called out to his fourth wife, whom he loved most dearly. You are the one whom I love most. I've bought you lots of pearls and diamonds. When I die, will you come with me? Upon hearing this, the fourth wife replied. I am very grateful that you've loved me dearly, but when you die, that will be the end of our life together. I don't want to go with you. The rich old man then thought of his third wife. All along, she had been well treated, and he had never abandoned her. After hearing her husband's request, the third wife replied, "I'm still young, and I can remarry." So why don't you have some compassion for me and find somebody else? The old man then turned to his second wife, who answered, "I cannot possibly go with you. I'm taking care of everything in this house. But don't worry. After you die, I'll make sure you have a good funeral. Since you're my husband, I promise to personally take your body to the crematorium." Having been rejected by his three wives, he was left with his first wife, whom he had long neglected and for whom he had never bought anything. She probably wouldn't say yes, he thought. Still, he was afraid to die alone, and he gathered the courage to ask his first wife. "I am leaving this world soon. Would you come with me?" Unexpectedly, the first wife said. We are husband and wife. We are meant to be together. Wherever you go, I'll go. When you die, of course I'll come with you. The moral of this story is that we each have four wives. The beloved fourth wife represents our body. We often forget to care for its health. We wear accessories to make it look beautiful, but after we die, our body cannot come with us. The third wife represents our wealth. We often try to protect it because we are so afraid of losing our money. But sadly, when we die, we cannot take any of it with us. The second wife represents our relatives and friends. Every once in a while, we give them some love and care. But after we die, all they can do for us is perhaps send us off at the crematorium and then return to their own busy lives. What does the first wife represent? She is our mind, which we usually fail to take care of until we meet with death. Only our mind follows us everywhere. However, because we're so lost in our desires, our mind tends to follow evil and delusive paths, drifting about aimlessly. So please care for your body and keep it healthy. Enjoy your possessions and the joy they offer. Cherish your friends and family for the love they provide, but most importantly, look after your mind and nurture goodness in it by spending some time on your own. Take time to read, take time to chant or to meditate, because it is your most faithful companion that will take your merits and the rest of your deeds into your future lives. Thank you for listening to Bodhi Light Tales. Subscribe to Bodhi Light Tales and have stories delivered to you every week. May your day be filled with happiness and wisdom.